you know, you guys talk about watching like The Last of Us and Walking Dead and everyone's like zombie apocalypses and the word apocalypse. Apocalyptic rain is an apocalypse. Well, it's like doom and disaster, right? Well, yep. here's a real stat about an apocalypse. Have you heard of the cicada apocalypse returning? I didn't even know it happened the first time. Those things. I know it's yeah. almost when That's I was so a kid, loud. I knew it was time for school because so you could hear those cicadas so loud in the trees. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'm like, what is that noise? It gives me like bad memories of like, oh, that feeling you got when you're having so much fun and then you're like, yep. oh, school's gonna start. The cicadas are back. It brings back memories <laughs> of when I first met Eric. Why? We were both working in Dallas and Remember the uh, millions of those things? There's like that uh, in the parking Temple lot. Temple of the Doom when the uh, when Harrison Ford's walking on. He's, he's like, it. "Is that fortune cookies I'm walking on?" Ew! It's no, nope. Eric yeah. and I would walk into the Ew. office together, Ew. and it would be crunch, crunch, crunch. Millions of well, these things. Well, guess what, Ryan? It's made billions this time, honey. This year, the fate has aligned. Two broods of cicadas will emerge from the ground, marking this the first time this has ever happened in over 200 years. Cicadas are not harmful, by the way, to humans, pets, household gardens, cro- or crops, the EPA says. But this only happens once every, like, 13 or 17 years where they would emerge from the ground. But two different factions are going to. And they say they usually arrive in millions, but even billions. Uh, yeah. Really? Billions of cicadas. Yeah. So it's all over the country. It's not just one state that has them more than the other. That's true. I guess they're everywhere. Ugh. Ugh. I hate cicadas. You know that. Okay, you know that. so, you know, I, I love thinking about sci-fi well with ai sci-fi is no longer sci-fi it's science reality so now they're designing lifelike robotic dolls engineered to basically have sexy time with human beings i know ryan's gonna go for a sexy I, time story i was I like it. wait I to do that. what i could have bet course. that do my taxes to do, an envelope to do that. Ryan's story will have to do have a tea party. okay <laughs> so asking the question yeah my baby boner <laughs> <laughs> asking the question <laughs> to americans <laughs> Americans, is it okay to do it with a robot? A recent survey found that 43% of Americans say that using those kind of robots is morally wrong. 39% said morally acceptable. Now we have our robot news for the bedroom. And it's more acceptable for people over 65. I, I thought guess. you were going to do the story about just holding up your phone and Google, Google's going to tell you <laughs> where you are. Just hold up your phone. You don't have to Google anymore. You just got to hold up your phone and Google just tells you what something is. That's now, where I thought you were me, going. Let me ask if you. If you found a, a man and you went to his bedroom and found a robot, Doll or something. Well, he's probably not even That's shopping a red flag, for you on, isn't it? On, on Oh, app. I would think it's a red flag. But let me ask those are you: expensive dolls. There's people with like My Strange Addiction that I watch. Uh-huh. I love those shows. Oh no, I watch that too. And this one guy had like three dolls. That's creepy. And they were all different. There was but, like these, a but those are like those high end dolls, right? That are made with like soft silicone yeah, skin. Silicone. I bet what this story is about what, is what like what kind of dolls in are the these, future though? they'll be like the Walmart like doll. Dolls? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, these, these, these are the same dolls, except for they move. They're not just like a doll so, that so they, even more they will actually yeah. engage. Oh, that'd with be really expensive. Now, Eric, do you remember that money? You could take that money and you could like learn to be a yeah, like how to do, talk to women. <laughs> I know, but I think that's the whole thing: is these dolls don't talk back. I mean, look at that other story, Eric, about the AI that's, girl that's, that's fake. Up. She makes all this money because of lonely guys talking to this fake AI girl. She doesn't mm-hmm. exist. Mm-hmm. She just looks really good on visual images it's, and graphics. I just keep thinking, what's wrong with people? Did you uh, see that movie Good Boys? It's on Netflix now. I'm trying to think which one that one. That is. Uh, it's just a bunch of kids. And oh yeah, yeah. Where they, where Seth they, Rogen's uh, movie. Yeah, and it's mm-hmm. really, really, it's funny. It's like a, it's like an R-rated cute. Kids movie, basically, but which is hard to say. It's, it, I know it's hard to describe this movie, movie. but cute okay. with it. It's funny as hell, but uh, they it's realistic think, what uh, twelve year old, fourteen year old boys would say how they talk. think and how they would talk. But they they think that it's their dad's CPR doll, but it's it's one of those, and it's just so funny. People are weird. There's, I mean, everybody has their own thing, you know. Yeah. Another strange addiction. Since we're going on this yeah, topic, wait, so, you yeah. might as well because I love the show. This one guy was obsessed with um, pool floats, like the big, like yeah, blow yeah, the up. unicorn ones. Yes, that was his like really? addiction. Like, what do you mean? Like he likes to lay on them? them? He used to kiss them and Ew. lay on them. He had like a a whale. Like he as was one. like romantically, yes. romantically so attracted yes. to pool floats. Did he have a pool? Yes. He did Whoa. not have a pool. He lived in an apartment, <laughs> and he had what? like probably five, and he would rotate his favorite. I That's... get really stuck in these shows. Does he what? say? Does he think it's normal, or does he know it's a problem? Or does um, he... he thinks that it's normal. He's not harming anybody, right? That, that, that's his whole thing. He's not harming anybody, but like he'll try and like show his friends, like, "Oh, this is so and so." I think like oh. the, the shark's name was Betty or something. You would never be my friend. Oh God, Whoa. Sam! What was the one? I, it, it just wow. aired where the guy he he stored the stuff under his couch. He kept it all over the house. 
and he was trying to go out on a date. I can't remember what the stinky thing cicadas, he was he had. <laughs> was I don't it? know that one. Oh, God, it's going to drive me nuts. Yeah. No, I don't remember what that That show that is so interesting to watch. What channel is it on? TLC. Well, TLC. Right? But I don't even know what channel that is. I more wedding it. story? No, yeah, I watch oh, wedding yeah. story and baby like, story. Like Snapchat. Snapchat has stories if you scroll oh, yeah. the whole way yeah. over. TLC and so has... I go like down the rabbit oh, hole. There was so a guy obsessed Snapchat. with like a car then too. And the car was their lover. Uh, Red, yeah. Do you watch Red 90 Day Engine. Fiance? No. The Life After Lockup? I know. Uh, well, I probably Love After Lockup? I probably would watch that one. Smothered. If you had time. If Smothered's had time. good. This is something uh, really you should get on board. I know Kevin well because he loves those class action lawsuits. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Class was action Kevin. Scoop too, but yes, please tell everyone right now. So I just got my Apple. Up. Did you? Yeah. How much? Wait, how much did I, I, give I you? don't. I don't know, but it's it's told me it's coming in the mail today. And what did you get from Facebook when you joined that class action? Uh, that was like 60 some dollars. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Now, I know this person that is getting sued is really oh, famous. Weird. I know rulers have problems. My yes. wife's complained about this, We've too. We've talked about this when this person has come to town the last two Madonna. times. Madonna. She's being sued by uh, yeah. fans because she starts her concerts. Way too late. Late. Like two hours. Supposed to start at 8.30. She doesn't get on there until like 10.45. Mm. And this person is suing because... Inconsiderate. I had, to, I had to go to work the next day early, and I could not perform my job because I was up late watching her concert. That it's, is rude. I'm sorry, but it's rude. Are they going to win that, though? No. I don't think well, so. Well, if enough people, because the other part of their lawsuit, Sam, is yeah. that they, because she started so late and they had taken public transportation, by the time the concert was out, there was limited public transportation. Can't they couldn't get, get home. I thought oh. there was fines. Like, if you there are curfew. center, you got to be done by, like, 11 or something. Yeah, yeah there are cur- curfew fines. She doesn't care. She just pays them. But I'm just saying, know your audience. You know, know your audience, your demographic. Because who was it that said there was a famous celebrity? Was it like Jamie Lee Curtis Respect or somebody them. said, I love your cold play, but can you give me a matinee at four? Oh, right. You yeah. Know, like if, if if they could start at four, hey, Madonna can come out at seven. If she said it's four, yeah. that's fine with me. I'll be home by 930. <laughs> you know I mean, like. But why does she do that? Does she think it's cool? Does I she, don't understand why. I Even don't know. for her, isn't she like 60 something years old? She's like I feel 65, like, you know, like, can 66. I just start at like seven, like for real, legit seven on the dot? Because like, I just want to take a nap. What's that lady, uh, Stevie <laughs> Nicks? Oh, from, yeah. Like from she lives. Fleetwood Mac. She mm-hmm. lives like she starts her day at like ten at night and goes to like really eight or nine. Yeah, like she does not still. Like she's probably going to bed now. And wow. nighttime See, is that's her. Not that's her. I used to live that way. So I heard Harry Styles it with you talking how he worked with her and uh-huh. he goes, yeah, it's just a different world. She's it's flipped opposite. upside down, the opposite of most people. Because most people her age, you know, they're eating dinner at four thirty in the afternoon. They're going to bed at by you know seven thirty. Maybe her whole life of being a rocker, that's what she knew. That's she what knew I'm late thinking. nights, She's overnights, used to that. all like, night. Mm-hmm. You're, yes, you're the same way. I, I was. And it, if it you really, were not doing this job, oh yeah, you would never be up. I'd be going to sleep right now. No. I used to have like no. the most a flip flop schedule. I would. I knew when I was in college that I would never have a, a like a legit nine to five. I knew that maybe my job is going to be like midnight to eight a.m. or I'm going to have like a three a.m. to nine a.m. job. I'm never going to have a get in the office by eight thirty, leave the office by five thirty job. I just knew that about myself. Your whole I was life, a restaurant right? kid. My whole life, I was a restaurant kid. So we were not going to sleep at normal times. And why is that? Because because yeah. my mom and dad did not have child care. We had no family here. So the restaurant was our babysitter. So Wednesday, I mean, Saturdays and Sundays, I mean, Fridays and Saturdays, Christie's closed at 11. The last customers would leave at 12. By the time they cleaned all the floors and mopped and all the dishes were done, it was 1 a.m. My mom and dad would take us to the house of pies. Family of seven, five kids. At 1.30 in the breakfast, morning. breakfast, 1.30 in the morning. So now as an adult, I'm like, oh, my God, those drunks coming in there thinking, oh. what's that whole family of seven doing over there? Wow, that is such a <laughs> different life. Are they on a road life. trip? That was my whole life as a kid. I never had a curfew. I never had, like, time to go to bed. Oh, my God. You were the kid I would have been so envious of. My parents <laughs> were militant with bedtime. 8 p.m. That was it. It was cut off all the way up until like high school. It was like, I I think through junior high, we started staying up till like nine o'clock, but it was always eight o'clock. Boys, if I have to come up there, if I hear you guys talking, the belt's coming off. I don't want to stay up at two in the morning. No. Well, not anymore, but I used to. Even like in my in my early, I mean, up until I probably had kids, I was forced to take naps because your body just kind of makes you when you're pregnant. You have no choice. You're so, like narcoleptic. Eric, and you're like I'm t- I'm falling asleep. Yeah. What happened? Like a mod, he could probably go out. Sleep. He probably goes to those oh, yeah. after hour clubs at four. Oh yeah, I don't he, know how he does. Oh, He's a vampire, yeah, baby. Like, a, the party don't start till like twelve o'clock. You hit the clubs uh, for two hours, oh, and you go God. to after hours. And then after hours, you go. Kevin, to you're asleep by then. What time is the last day club? Like six in the morning? Six, six in the morning, that's like, when they shut down. <laughs> you come outside and it's daylight and you're uh-huh. like, oh, God. And your Uber driver's like, good morning. I was like, really, it's good night, but okay. It's good night. Yeah. Eric, Ugh. Kevin, Sam, did you guys have bedtimes when you were kids? Like, yeah, I think it was like yeah. nine o'clock. 
I don't know. I don't watch, but... Couldn't watch Moonlighting. No. No, I remember when the news came on, I knew it was late. I was like, oh, the news are on. I haven't started my homework yet. We had the 9 o'clock news, the WGN. So yeah. I could watch that. I Fox always has 9 o'clock news. Yeah, like the 9 o'clock here. news. But I as like a that. kid, you want to watch the news? Yeah. No, if I knew the news was on, I knew I was screwed on time because, like, oh man, I haven't done my homework yet. Because I had sports, I didn't have ESPN. Oh, okay. As a kid, I grew up with no uh, cable. cable out in the country. We mm. had an antenna. I had like four channels. So, and you know, the Eric- only sports I could get was from the sports guy. Like now, nobody even cares about sports. Local sports guys. Mm-hmm. There's a few of them, but nobody. You really watch ESPN or get your phone and you'll Not see like when we were kids. Or, and, and let me yeah. tell you why this is so unique that Eric and I work together as adults. Because Eric and I lived the same life in different states, in different worlds. But he's a boy, I'm a girl, and we have the yeah. same life. Like the things that Eric says he did, was, oh my God, me too, I did that too. Yeah. Are we the only two kids from that age that did that? No, I don't there's know. only so many channels. But we didn't have a lot of channels, right? I did not have a cable box in my house until I was 19 years old. And I went to a friend's house when I was 15 and I said, what's that thing on your TV? She goes, what? It was it had red numbers. And I, she goes, the, a, the cable box? I go, oh, I don't know. We don't have that. Yeah, I didn't you know, didn't yeah. have one either. I, I, the best, I go to my friend's house to spend the weekend and it would be the, uh, like HBO would give a free movie. It would be free for everybody that weekend. Like a free weekend oh, to get cool. you to sign up. Yeah, to get you. Yeah. T- so they put all the movies. I'm like, this is awesome. He's like, you want to go play basketball? I'm like, no. I want to sit here. Give me free movies. I, I got to watch Commando. <laughs> Commando. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. This person, oh, hey, I, I'm, I'm feeling my, my person on text. Single mom here, restaurant owner. My kid has no curfew. And here, I am your kid in the future. <laughs> we still don't sleep. Okay. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, we're going to go through the listener line because you guys have been very active on calling our show. And we have, we have like to be continues updates. On There's people lines. fighting with some of us, uh, defending some of us. And uh, Special K, you've offended yet another person. What Uh-oh. did you do this Two days time? in a row? Whoa! Come on. Oh, Different person, different offense. Oh, they what? get side eye. What <laughs> is Kevin uh, going to be um, on the hook for? Find out oh. next on the Rule and Rain show. We play the secret sound five times a day to get the exact times that it's going to play. Become a KRBE insider and you'll find out. How do you yes, do that? And you might even get a hint sent to you if you go to KRBE.com. Become an insider when you're a VIP. Mm-hmm. You get all the good stuff. Okay, so we have a pot with six hundred twenty-four dollars. Yeah, because nobody, nobody guessed it. it. I thought somebody. Every would time get it. there's a wrong guess, we had another hundred and four bucks. So, is it going to be the right guess, or is it going to go to seven hundred twenty-eight dollars? Let's find out. Trisha is caller one hundred four. Trisha, congratulations on being caller one hundred four. Good right. morning. <laughs> So oh my gosh. Hey, Trisha. Trisha. All right, Trisha, let me ask you this question because I know you're super excited and we talked about the high pitch excitement yesterday. Like, oh my God. <laughs> ah, yeah. like, okay, let me ask you this. Have you heard the other wrong guesses or are you just going right here, stab in the dark? No, I listen to you all the time. Oh, okay, you. so you yeah. heard the other wrong guesses. So okay. I've been eliminating all the options. Okay, okay. <laughs> so let's play the sound one more time for those just tuning in. The secret sound is this. Trisha, what do you think that is? A coffee machine. Yes! yes! Oh, my God! Oh, my goodness! Yeah! Making Trisha, coffee. Trisha, that is me making copies! Uh, yes! Nice! Yeah! $624. Trisha, congratulations. Yay. Oh my gosh, we're so happy for you. What a great way to start your Friday, Trisha. $624 yes, with KRB I, Secret Sound. I always try and answer, never get through the first time. Oh my there goodness, you, go. you got it. Okay. Trisha has it, guys. $624 what she won. It is the copy machine making copies. To us, it seemed easy. I know, but it sounds different in the car. It when does. you when you hear it, it in the it, car. It, yep. It does sound different in the car than listening to it on the app. Mm-hmm. Really? So if people had guessed garage door opening. They'd guess clothes washer filling up with the water in the clothes inside, dishwasher, printer, treadmill. But it's the copy machine making the copies. Uh, Trisha, congratulations. $624 for Yay. you with KRBE Secret Sound. Hang on the line. Let's get your information. What's great is Hold there's going to be a Hold new on. secret sound, and there's four more chances to win today. Right, because we do bit, it we Monday through Friday, 7 to 7, five times a day. Yeah. Can we play that sound now? Or no. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. All right. 
right. Hang on. I'm trying. Look how hard I'm trying to put her on hold. Yeah, make sure you don't, don't, don't hang, hang up, Rula. I know. Line four is stuck. She was well, on line four. You'll get this for line calls. Okay, I know, right? <laughs> so the secret sound will reveal the next one. In a few minutes. In a few minutes. Because right now we got to get to the listener line calls at 713-278-VENT. We've had very much activity on this line. And we've had to be continued and updated calls. Like people will call us about something and they'll say, hey, yes. I called about this. I just want to let you all know what happened. Yesterday, Special K got side eye shame. <sighs> you did. You did. Somebody came out for him. Yeah. I, I didn't realize you were attacking uh, one of our own, Irvin. I, well, yes. I wasn't attacking. I was just merely mentioning something about oh, his life. you deserved life. it, though. Special <laughs> K got side-eyed. Uh, he, Special K side-eyed Irvin, who does our digital for living at home uh, with one of his parents. Somebody on the list line shamed him for side-eyeing Irvin over that. Yeah, well, so at, now, at 35, I just thought it maybe it was time. But Irvin's only 24. He's not 35. He's, not 35. he's 24. He's graduated he college, poor kid. Oh, is that right? I, I don't he's know. He's 35. He looks older than me, so I don't <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, man, he does not stop. Okay. You don't want to start that with you. You deserve the next caller, then. Let's hear what the next call's okay. about. He does digital. You know he can make you look really weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, he can. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So, <laughs> yesterday, and we're going to, Sam, you had a lot of defenders. The woman who uh, coined the phrase man baby, she had left a long dissertation. And I had played two calls from her. Now, in all fairness, I had to edit this down big time because she left another really long oh, call. Oh, goodness. But in all fairness, those calls were uh, calls that didn't come in on the same day. They were many days apart, okay? She just has a lot of things to say. And Kevin, so she goes after Kevin, too? Oh, God. oh wow. She's after you now. She went after Kevin. <laughs> well, finally, it's not me. Yeah, she went after <laughs> Kevin yesterday. Now, this is highlights of a very long call. <laughs> hey, guys. It's man, baby, lady, Kevin. You said, I feel like she's been wronged because she has a lot to say today. So a woman's got to have a villain origin story to speak her mind? No, man. I just have a lot of opinions about things. No wrongdoing, no damage, no trauma, none of that. I just have strong opinions. Salty. There are times that I've called the listener line and left positive messages. Things like, great show today. You guys made me laugh a lot. None of those calls make it onto the air. Y'all just like to play the ones where I'm ranting. So that's on you. Bye, guys. <laughs> stay safe. Stay warm. <laughs> oh, a woman's not allowed lady. to have an opinion, Kevin. Oh, a woman's not allowed to be salty. Every day. She doesn't have to be so. She she's not. just saying she doesn't have to have some negative thing for why she has an opinion. And she we play has if, an opinion. We play if she's some yeah. nice things. Maybe we like that. And we try and be fair because so many people call the list line and she gets a lot of airtime. We're fair and balanced. Because, oh, Are don't we? say that. Uh, We're definitely off balance here. Yeah, We're off yeah, balance. Fair enough balance. There, there you go. <laughs> now, Sam, uh, yesterday she did have a critique about you not knowing oh, gosh. a rapid fire answer. But you had so many people call in to support you. Sam, you're amazing, you're awesome, and I don't know who the president was 10 years ago because, like Rula said, you have to sit there and do math. Okay, figure what year is it? When was that exactly? I would have had to Google that. There's not enough time for all that. You can't Google and, you know, the rest are quiz. But I just wanted to take up for Sam real quick because she's amazing, and girl, if you don't want to vote and you don't need to know any of that, love y'all. Yeah, we were talking about how in the rapid fire quiz, you only have two seconds to think or you get buzzed out. And if you do any kind of math or think, okay, what year is this now? And 10 years ago was that? And the president was who? You don't have enough time. When he does a question that's like really long. Oh, yeah, the question is long. No questions questions are ever uh, over a single line sentence. No, there's some of them are like, you got some. You got in the mystery box, Ryan, because people were mad at your question. It's like war and peace. That's why you got hey, me through this. Hey, Sam, I just wanted to share some love with you. I know you got beat up a little bit this morning with that call. You may not be the biggest book smart person or into books, but you know what, homegirl? You DIY crafts are pretty freaking amazing. You can kick ass in soccer. You know, you have some funny qualities about you that you brighten up the show. You bring this little sunshine to the show because Rula, she's a little jaded, I guess, from being around the boys all the years. But you still have this perkiness to you. And, you know, you like a little ball of sunshine in the morning. You make me laugh. I'm pretty sure you make a lot of people laugh, especially in rapid fire, because to be under pressure, to have to answer questions, and then that early in the morning, it's not like you don't win any games. You have one, so it's not like you completely lose all the time. Your other skills are superb, and you keep being you, Sam. You're awesome. There you go. See, I'm, 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 I've you got down, I yeah. got beat down by the boys. Down literally. a little bit inside. They've broken my soul. Yeah. And was, I'm not as perky as you are. you became jaded. <laughs> I think that's having kids and no sleep. Uh, no, I think it's working with you guys. That's okay. No, okay. I'm kidding. Not help. working with you guys in general, like personal shots. I'm just saying when you're around only men all the time, you start talking like them. You start loosely? thinking like them. You're just... 
different personality. <laughs> yeah, but you've been like that. When you went to Philly, I think Philly did that to you. Oh, yeah. Can you back off? Yeah. Let's back off. <laughs> I mean, I'm from the East Coast. Yeah, so. Philly does it to everybody. I'm also, can we also mention that I'm doing a lot behind the scenes that's yeah. not just on air. Yeah. So my mind is going on like, oh, what's the next secret sound? There's a lot of things going on in my plate. I'm not just like totally focused all the time. So for rapid fire. Thank though, you, Kevin. That is how my brain is. <laughs> Hamster in the wheel. All right, Kevin. That's that's awesome. the Still doing stuff behind just, rapid like right fire now, thinking about, you know, she has to get the sounder for us to play in a second. Yeah. She's thinking about what's coming up at 845, what's coming up at 9, what's coming up at... All these different And she's doing her own show. Afterwards. Yep. She's a lot of stuff. You can Amazon suck it! Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kevin. This woman had a, 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 a basically a question. Is anybody else like her? I'm a heterosexual woman, and I don't want to be married to a straight man. I am granted to be a beard, and Kevin knows what that is. And I want it to be somebody that's wealthy, that I don't have to have sex with. I just put on the facade of, yeah, we're married. I can do whatever I want. My mom's in on this. She's like, get a guy that's a powerful man that needs, like, a stand-in, per se. I would love the idea of it. Are there she's any... been drinking little wine. Yeah. Are there, there, any... Really? Are there any rich, powerful gay men that want a beard? I think is what she's asking. They they're not going to be happy, would they? They're living... No, no. And, no, and but you... I think she's going to let them do whatever they want. Right, they can Dating. do whatever they want. She just she wants, wants the, the lifestyle. The trophy yeah. wife well, what person kind of, like, stands up for you. I'm sure he wants to have a, a partner someday. Yes, but maybe he's right. in the closet and does right. not have he any plans yeah. on coming out. It's 2024. But listen. They must be real old school if they're still in the closet. Well, well, there are time. some. There are some folks out there. I bet you, you know, especially in the communities and cultures where it's um, LGBT. Our community is more on the DL. Uh -huh. um, unfortunately, in some communities, it's not as accepted. And so I still don't think this is a good idea. Maybe you should find yourself an, a regular sugar daddy. She not just a doesn't want to have sex. Daddy. That's why she. But she doesn't to. want to sleep with the guy. Yeah. So she wants a gay man to be. Her How about sugar you daddy? don't rely on a man? Period. Yes. yes. Go out there and you, you get your asparagus. Well, you bravo. go out there and you kick ass, bravo, get a Eric. job, However, and work hard. You don't need a man. Eric, I agree with you 100%, but there are girls, and Sam and I have met them, and you guys have too, that their whole thing is, can I just get married already and let somebody just take care of me? I mean, we all like and that. Hey, Wouldn't we all like that? If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'm just saying it exists. So sure. she could be that girl that's like, you know what? She just wants mm -hmm. to get married to somebody. Look nice for them. Accompany them to the dinners and the parties. What do you be do the all Vivian. Day? You'd be bored. It sounds, woman. Be the sounds, Vivian at the party in the pretty dress with the escargot. It sounds fun for Slippery a little bit. Little I mean, who wants to be in a loveless marriage? I guess she does. Yeah. Yeah, I guess she's fine with it. Somebody right now is listening saying, well, I'm doing that and I'm not even getting paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do we have the sounder for the next We do. Time? Okay, okay, for Celebrity Scoop. Let, let's do it in the scoop. We will tell you what the next sounder mm -hmm. is for KRBE's secret sound. And it starts back up at $104. That's how it's going to start out, okay? It's not a contest. We're just going to let you hear the sounds. You can think about it for the next time we solicit for you to be Caller 104 on KRBE. From Hollywood to H-Town. Rule and Ryan Celebrity Scoop on KRBE. Okay, so uh, just real quick, I want to start it out by telling you what the scoop is on the secret sound. KRBE secret sound. We started this yesterday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Five times in that window of time, we ask for you to be caller 104 to guess the secret sound. If you guess the secret sound the first time we played, it's worth $104. For every wrong guess, we add $104 to the pot. Now, yesterday's secret sound was just guessed at $624. What was that item? Because people The were item was a machine that makes copies, Copier. not coffee. It was a copy machine making copies. And I say that because somebody texted, I thought I thought they said it was a machine making coffee. That didn't mm -hmm. sound like coffee. No, right. copies. Copy. C -O -P -Y. Making copies. It was a machine making copies. Oh, right. Old school there. And, right. that, yeah. um, and that is that 624 bucks is gone now. So we start again at $104. So we have four more chances today for the secret sound. Here's the new secret sound. What is that noise? Let's hear that one more time. Hmm. Okay. What could that possibly be? Think no. about that because we're not asking you to call us no. right now. Just the next time that happens, we want you to just be thinking about it. And if you want to know the exact time that it actually will play, become a KRBE insider. Go to KRB.com.
Very easy to do. It takes yep. a few seconds to fill out. Become an insider VIP. They send you an email with the exact times of the five times a day we play. So 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, KRBE Secret Sound. We're back at 104 bucks with that sound. Let's see what that is. Good luck. I feel like that one is... Wow. Oh. <laughs> I knew the first one. I have no idea what that is. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I was like, wow. Well, I knew the first one because I'm the one that did it. I had to make the copies. Oh. That's what... <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to make these copies and record myself. Okay. Um, and real quick, in case you missed this, uh, there is a class action lawsuit about Madonna being sued by fans for starting her concerts late. She's been doing this for years. But finally, two of her fans have had it. Michael Fellows of Brooklyn and Jonathan Haddon of the Bronx bought tickets for her December 13th celebration to her concert at the Barclay Center. The show said it, the show was supposed to begin at 8.30. Madonna did not come to the stage until after 10.45 p.m. The men said they were confronted with limited public transportation, limited ride sharing, and or increased public and private transportation costs by the time the show got out at 1 a.m. They also complained they had to get up to go to work early <laughs> and take care of their family responsibilities the next day, and they were too tired. Now, judges so got Laugh at that part. Listen, they're suing Madonna, Live Nation, the Barclay Center for unconscionable, unfair, and or deceptive trade practices for promising the public that the concert would begin at 8.30, knowing that Madonna would not begin performing at the advertised start time. The pair is arguing that was a breach of contract and the lawsuit seeks unspecified damages. But here's where the difficult part is going to be. Every concert says 7 p.m. and they don't come out till like 9. No. If like, you've gone to Jonas one Brothers, concert. Jonas Brothers to Garth Brooks to the only person, guys, that started the second it happened was Andrea Bocelli. When he came here to do his uh, his My, his my Christmas, Christmas album. Mm-hmm. If it says 7.30, you best believe that man is coming out to the stage at 7.30 but on the dot. Think about the people that work at... Uh in the parking, the police officers, they right. have to do overtime. They have to stay out until 1 in the morning yeah, because do. she decided to come on rudely. And they have a life, too. And she's a couple hours notorious late. for this now that she comes out so Here's late. an idea. Don't go to the concert, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> but why should they not go? They think it says 7.30. Or 8.30, whatever. But anybody that's, 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 how ever, it is. Anybody that's ever been to a concert knows that the start time it's is like, never what it says on out. the ticket. Well, but it's to me, never that's a, that late. That's like an a-hole mentality. What? The way that Kevin says that there. Well, that's the way it is. Well, then. Yeah, that's like. My a, car says I can go 200 miles an hour. I'm mm-hmm. going to do it. I don't care about right. your stupid law. Right. Why'd they put 200 miles per hour in my car? I could but do yeah, it. But Madonna's not breaking the law. She's not breaking yes, the law. Yes, she is. That's why she has to pay fines. But she's not. Well, she ain't paying. She ain't paying like, I'm to sure their she, people. I'm sure she pays to the no, unions. It's yeah, she has to pay all those they people. Have, they have mm-hmm. times that they have to have everybody off the it's stage. It's a rule versus a law. Yeah. The rules yeah. are. But this guy's trying to make a law. If by like 11 p.m. or midnight, whatever it is for that city, there will be fine. There are laws where there are curfews. Yes, it there are curfews. It would be nice. I mean, her fans aren't 12, so it's not like Olivia Rodrigo no. or something. It would yeah. be nice <laughs> if you actually knew what time the performer was going on stage. Yeah, and that's what we always do, especially as radio people. We've been doing this for years. I always ask our program director, okay, what's the real time? Do we know the real time? Like, who's the opener? What's the actual time? Because there's a point for that. You, everyone goes and you can see the set list. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it tells you the time. You can you Google kind of setlistfm.com and it tells you every song, the order it's going to be played in, when they went on stage. You see her last five shows and she's not on until 10. You probably should know. And also, and that's yeah. another, to your point, Eric, when Celebration Tour was going to come here and then they, they should to cancel because of her health issues, I remember telling Kevin off the air, like, man, I really want to go to her show, but we got her on a Tuesday, I think. And I was like, oh, gosh, she's not going to go until 11. The, the, the last show now I went to at Toyota Center, hey, if it's a Friday, I'm fine. Come out whenever she wants. It's Friday. But... The last time she was here at Toyota Center was like four tours ago, and I was so frustrated because, you know, we wake up early for the Rule and Ryan show. I wanted to be like, my head was in the game, and it's just not worth it. So I was going to, I skipped whatever the next one was. If I know they're going to come out too late, I just can't go. I just can't enjoy it. Someone made a good point. The people at the rodeo, they get, they know, they get their stuff yeah. down. They, you start at that certain time. That's an exact science. That's a yeah, well-oiled yeah, yeah. machine. Yeah, they got their stuff down. I had time lapse of the rodeo between the, um, the hard luck awards to the time the performer comes out on stage, all that digging in the dirt. Are they doing the dirt? The, the star uh, yeah, stage that, is coming out. That big tractor buggy is leaving. Yeah. You know, it's leaving the station <laughs> at nine thirty p.m. Out of here. <laughs> Are they putting the dirt in right now? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. How does what is the process of the prep? Yeah, they always show that. that time oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, because um, Texans are game. Oh yeah, Texans don't have any home oh. field. Yeah, they're done. So that's it for the Texans. I mean, they're on playing home still, but they're not. They won't be playing in NRG again. And the Super Bowl doesn't happen in your hometown. I mean, Someone's going to text us right now. It's like it's coming out. They always show that video every mm-hmm. year with yeah, time lapse or something. All the dump Somebody trucks. text us from the rodeo committees that y'all know. When does the dirt go down? And they take that dirt and clean it. It's weird how they mm-hmm. clean dirt. They do. 
They, oh, yeah. They reuse that. You don't want all the cow patties and stuff in there. So yeah, they sift or horse yeah. patties. Is kitty litter? Like, you get little sifters out? And yeah, <laughs> there out? is a sifter. Yeah, yeah, it's a big industrial sifter. And listen, there's a reason you got to wear boots on that dirt, y'all. Because you don't want that stuff getting in your shoes. Ew. It is no. a whole bunch of mess. It's deep. A yeah. whole bunch of mess. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rula and Ryan Show on KRBE with what's going down, 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 down in H-Town. Okay, it's brought to you by Duncan. You definitely want to listen to KRBE this weekend. Start making your plans for the first ever KRBE crew parade. This is fun. This is going to be during Mardi Gras Galveston happening February 10th, Saturday afternoon. The entire Rula and Ryan Show, 2.30 in the afternoon. We... The Roland Ryan Show and the entire KRB Yay! team are going to be in the parade. It's a bucket and list for item. First time ever doing yeah. this. This is going to be so fantastic. Kind of, you kind of might even be able there. to ride with us or watch from a balcony. So you want to listen to KRBE all weekend for your first chances to win. You can get your advanced tickets by going to MardiGrawGalveston.com. And uh, Mardi Gras Galveston runs two weekends, February 2nd through Fat Tuesday, which is February 13th. I think this is like the first time we've all been able to hang out together. In, as an event. Since the like pandemic. This. It's been a really long time. Oh, right? yeah. We did sure. one road yeah. show in Galveston. We did the road show at Float. Mm-hmm. Float. Mm-hmm. And that was outdoor. Man, that was really fun. Yeah, it was outdoor. It was nice. I, missed that one. I missed that one. I had I had COVID during that one, remember? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And that was our first I, I, try. We, doing so we haven't all been together. I think the first. Yeah. Road show is when I first joined you, your guys' show. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were like a weekend. You're, you're like weekend. a baby. You're like, we're going to go on stage. You're a brand in front spanking of, like, new baby. I was like, oh, okay. And then I wore a see through outfit. So that was really fun. But didn't know it was see through until the stage. Yeah. When, when, really when wanted the to make lights, myself Spotlights known. hit you. Oh, yeah. Do you want to take bets on whether Ryan makes it to the Mardi Gras? Oh, yeah. I'm making What's the weather going to be? Yeah. Let's see. Oh. You know, weather versus flu With versus flu RSV versus COVID. I'm staying in a bubble until that. So, how about some good news for our firefighters? Houston Mayor John Whitmire placed a two-month timeline on a settlement with the Houston firefighters. They waited the entire Turner administration to get some Seven years. justice, and Seven they years. didn't. And now they, in two months. That's awesome. So a recent Greater Houston Partnership analysis of the city's pending obligation to the firefighters placed their lingering debt at an estimated $500 million for back wages and benefits accumulated over the seven years of labor contract impasse with and how Sylvester much money Turner. did the former administration spend to fight them on it versus just giving it to them? Yeah. Oh, don't get me started. I know, right? Mm. It's crazy. By the way, people are saying monster trucks are this weekend. So the dirt is going in now. Okay, uh, yeah. Is that the same dirt? dirt. That's they, not the same dirt. They have their own dirt, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's different dirt. That's monster And if you're going to go to that FYI newbies, you've got to take headphones for your kids. It is so loud. It's there. loud. Your ears will hurt so bad. My parents Like your took actual us. canals of your, your ear canals will right. hurt. It's for monster so jam, loud for monster not, jam. Not so much rodeo. No, but for yeah, Monster, Monster Jam, oh, for, for sure. sure. When we were little kids, mom and dad took us to the uh, the Astrodome. That's where they used to have it. And I, we didn't have headphones or earplugs or anything. I'm like, oh, my God, that is loud. That's why your headphones are so loud now. Yep. All right, guys, we're going <laughs> to yeah. get with it now. Special K's got a Friday free for yeah. 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 You, what? What? you me gave what? me a good idea. What? I did a whole bunch of these songs turned 30. Oh, yeah. I saw this thing on Instagram. Your your mind is me blown when you hear these songs and they're turning 30 in 2024. You can hear them next on KRBE.